Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me for today's video. So today we are talking about the spring Sephora cell. So this is a cell that Sephora has twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. And starting today, April 9th, Rouge members can start shopping until the 19th. Then on the 13th, VIB members can start shopping. And finally on the 15th, if you're an insider, you can also shop the cell. And the end date for all three options ends on the 19th. And I will pop up a little card up here on the screen so you can get those dates so you can either take a screenshot or take a picture with your phone so what I'm doing today is sharing with you products that I currently have that are all on sale during the spring Sephora sale so these are products I selected the products that I use the most love the most have gotten the most use out of so each and every one of these products are some of my favorite products so let's go ahead and get started Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for a lifetime favorites I did want to mention that all of the products I'm talking about today are all cruelty free which is amazing I'm so happy that Sephora now carries so many different cruelty free brands ranging in price from lower end to higher end so the first brand I want to talk about is Tarte Tarte is one of my favorite brands because they have always been cruelty free they have all vegan ingredients they are very high quality and the first thing are eyeshadow palettes so Tarte eyeshadows are some of my favorite because they are so easy to blend the quality is very high the color payoff is amazing they also have so many different palettes to choose from so two of my favorite palettes right now first of all is the tartlet toasted palette and I've talked about how before with blue eyes I love those warmer golden like orange undertones rusty undertones they are so beautiful and flattering on blue eyes so this is what this palette looks like and as you can see it is all warm tones there's a few little cool tones um, in this palette and I like to use those like in the inner corner to really make your eyes pop but love this palette and also I love the packaging the little tortoise print on the front super cute I always love good packaging and then the second one is the tartlet I think this is called yeah the juicy palette so this palette is very large it has a lot of different color options and the cool thing about this one is that it has your cooler eyeshadows right here and then the other two rows are warmer eyeshadows so you can switch up your look mix the warm and the cool together if you wanted to you can get so many great looks out of these palettes but love both of them recommend both of them They're, the reviews on both of these are amazing and then moving on to a couple of lip products from Tarte so the first is the color splash lipstick so this is in the shade rum punch and I am wanting to pick up some more color splash lipsticks because they are so creamy and dreamy I love them and this color is more of a kind of like a muted brown and what I like to do with this one is put it on the outer corners of my lips and then in the middle I'll put like a nice pale nude and it looks so good together it's the perfect combination and I really like the quality of this lipstick now if you're someone that doesn't really like creamy lipsticks and you're more of a matte type of person I love the Tartist lip paint and this is in the shade pillow talk this is a very true nude color and especially if you're still having to wear masks where you live or you go into work with a mask then this is great because if you do ever take it off you can actually like it won't transfer to your mask so that is wonderful and also it will stay for such a long time and I always love a great nude lip moving on to another favorite brand this is Fenty Beauty so the two products that I have been using like crazy are the cream blush in the shade butter biscuit I love the name of that it's so fun to say and it is a very beautiful cream bronzer this is a perfect shade for someone that is more of a fair to um, a lighter skin tone and I like this color because it's more on the neutral side it's not too warm and it's not too cool so it's right in the middle perfect blends out wonderfully and I use this every single day um, since I got it actually and as you can see there's still a lot of product in here so it's buildable and it doesn't really take a lot of the bronzer to get the job done so I really appreciate that and then second of all is the pro filter powder in the shade butter so again this is a 
perfect powder for someone with fair to light skin. They do have different shades depending on your skin tone. They have a darker one. They also have a lavender, which I'm really curious to try because it has a little bit of a slight lavender tone to it. So I'm very anxious to try that one, but this is a beautiful powder. It doesn't settle into fine lines. I use it under my eyes and it does not settle into those tiny lines like a lot of powders do. It's very fine. And again, this is a product that I've had for such a long time and there's still quite a bit of powder left in here. So love that, that both of these will last such a long time. Next brand I wanted to mention is another brand that has been cruelty free since the beginning and that is Hourglass Cosmetics. So this palette is unfortunately no longer available at Sephora, but the individual versions of the powders in here are all still available. So what you get in this palette is this bronzer, two blushes, a highlighter and then the two ambient light powders. So all of these are sold individually on Sephora. So I did want to mention this because I have been using Hourglass for a very long time, at least six years, and they are such high quality products. I know that they're pricey, but this is a perfect time to buy them since they are on the pricier side, but I love the quality of them. The highlighter is the perfect highlight because it's not too in your face, it's not too subtle, it's the perfect combination, adds a beautiful glow to the skin and then the ambient light powders look wonderful underneath your eyes they really brighten up the eye area and I do have everything in this palette minus the blush on my face today so you can really get a good idea of what they look like so cannot recommend hourglass products enough I think it's worth paying the price because again these products last for a very long time now we're moving on to three of my favorite foundations of the moment so first off this is a tin and moisturizer and this is the smashbox halo health glow all-in-one tinted moisturizer so this is a wonderful product for the spring and summer if you're going to the beach you don't really want to worry about a full face of makeup but you still want to glow and have some evenness and coverage to your skin this is a great way to go my only complaint about this they don't have a lot of color options so the shade that I have is the light shade and it's a little bit too yellow for me so I think this time around I am going to purchase the fair light so I think these shades just tend to run a little bit yellow and and I love this tinted moisturizer. It's definitely one of the favorites that I've tried and I used to wear tinted moisturizers almost every single day because they give you such a healthy glow. And the great thing about this is even though it does give you a glow, it doesn't look very oily, it's not cakey at all, it's very light but also buildable. So I did a review video of this and I would say that it's a light to medium coverage, definitely not full coverage, but a perfect everyday healthy glow tint and moisturizer. Next up is also a lighter skin tint. So this is from the brand Ilia, which I had never used anything from this brand before. And I purchased this last summer. It's the Super Serum Skin Tint with SPF 40 and I love it. So it's very comparable to this. The consistency is just a little bit different. They're both pretty liquidy. Um, I like both of these. I would say I like this one just a tad bit better, but this is still a wonderful product. And I love that this has squalane and hyaluronic acid acid in it because my skin tends to be on the dry side so I love that this puts moisture back into my skin it has a high SPF so it protects your skin and I use this like crazy all last summer and a lot of people were asking me what foundation I was using and I said it's this lighter skin tint so I think if you're someone that doesn't want a lot of coverage a skin tint is a great way to go it still lets your skin breathe and it gives you that beautiful healthy glow that I know we all love last up is an actual foundation so this is from it cosmetics this is their your skin but better foundation plus skincare so this is a true foundation however it is not super full coverage it is buildable and it does have like if you look at it in the light it has kind of like some shimmer in it but you can't see it on your face at all so if you're an oily skin person which I cannot speak from experience but I think that you might like this because it is not oily at all it kind of dries down to I would say a natural finish it's not matte and and it's not dewy it's just like that right that perfect in between which I love in a foundation or skin tint so this is a beautiful product has a great shade range and it's also right in the middle on price it's not super expensive and it's not super inexpensive either it's just right in the middle 
All right, next up, we're gonna talk about some hair products. So first up is Olaplex. So these have been all the rage for quite a long time now, and I definitely jumped on that bandwagon because these are wonderful hair products. So if you're someone that colors your hair, doesn't color your hair, people rave about these. So why I like these is because it really protects your hair from damage and heat kind of repairs your hair. And I am someone that uses heat almost every single day on my hair and I feel like it looks really healthy because I use these products. And I've also used the Hair Perfector, which I think is the number three. And they've also come out with various new products, which are also rated so well. So I highly recommend if you're looking for a new shampoo and conditioner, the cell is the perfect time to check them out. And then moving on to a couple of styling products. So first up is the Whey Hair Oil. So I've had this for a long time and I still have quite a bit of oil left. This barely takes anything. So I would do about maybe like a dime size amount. I run it, I never put it on my scalp. I just run it through kind of the mid shaft to the ends and it provides shine, gives you a little bit of glow without being super, super oily because this is a lighter oil. And also it smells amazing. To me, it kind of smells like roses. So definitely a great hair oil. And it also smooths down all those little flyaways that you might have flying around. And I always have those little things that fly everywhere and no matter what I do, it seems like I can't tame them, but when I use this, I can definitely tell a noticeable difference. Last up for hair products. So this is by Bumble and Bumble. This is the Invisible Oil Heat and UV Protective Primer. So this smells like kind of has a coconut scent, which of course I am crazy about. And then also it detangles your hair. It smooths, it protects. So you can use it like before you go out into the sun or in the pool, which is amazing. And then also of course, while it's still damp and before you blow dry, this is a wonderful product. It is higher end for what it is, but still I think it's definitely worth the price. Last up, I have a body fragrance. So this is from Sol de Janeiro. It's the Brazilian Crush Chirosa 62 Body Fragrance Mist. So this is what I wore all last summer and spring, and I got so many compliments. People ask me, what are you wearing? It smells so good. And it was this, and I love it because it's cheaper, much cheaper than a perfume, but it lasts all day long on me, which is so amazing for a body fragrance mist to last that long. And if you love Love a warmer scent. This pistachio scent is to die for. It smells delicious. It almost makes you want to eat it and it instantly transports you to a beach like with a coconut in your hand, the palm trees above you, the blue sky, the sand between your toes. This is what this scent reminds me of. So definitely we'll be picking up the larger version of this scent because it is one of my favorite all-time scents. So this does conclude all of my Sephora favorites. There are a few new products that I will be picking up during the Sephora sell, but I did want to mention the ones that I currently have and love. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye. Might be easier just